Hi guys, so a lot of you have probably wondered why I haven't posted anything, um, and he, I haven't posted anything because I haven't really actually figured out how I'm going to explain this to you guys, so, and like I said, I share 99.9% .9 of my life with you guys, and what happens behind the scenes, I don't record because it's going, it, if something traumatic happens in my life, I have to sit down and actually process it and figure out how I'm going to explain and get to that point in that time to say, hey guys, this is what's been happening with me and this is how I've gone about it and tried to explain it to you guys. So without further ado, um, for the past couple weeks, um, my mood has dramatically changed from bubbly to nothing but dark gloom and there it seems like there's a been a big dark cloud over me and I can't shake it like I used to. um and I I mean it literally has gotten to the point to where I feel no motivation to do the basic tasks of everyday human being of like cleaning my room, making my bed, um, doing laundry and doing all this other stuff that is very basic and you know important stuff. Um, I just haven't felt motivated. Basically all I want to do is just sleep and curl up in a corner and pretty much be left alone. Um, it wasn't until like a very couple days ago that I asked my mom if um, depression runs in my family and lo and behold it does. So this is me com telling you guys is that I am suffering from depression and when people suffer from depression I mean they don't, they go every day um, forcing themselves to basically fight to um, do basic tasks day in and day out and then they get so worn out that they're tired of fighting and a lot of the times when it comes to depression they do have suicidal thoughts and yes I am saying that I have had su suicidal thoughts and I don't I don't want to fight anymore I I mean I want to better myself and I want to not have to struggle to get out of bed, to go to work, to do laundry, and do whatever else that needs to be done. Um, so I'm, so in other words, I'm going to be taking the proper steps in treating myself for this. Um, basically that means that I'm going to be going to counseling and doing a couple therapy sessions and trying to get myself better. That way, you guys, won't have to worry or won't have to do or a lot of my friends and my family won't have to text me and ask me how I'm doing. Um, so all I can say is that for anyone who is dealing with depression or what, whatever mental illness that you guys have, please, please, please go tell someone because it's, if you don't tell someone then it can, and you keep brushing it off, then it can seriously affect your so, it can affect your whole day-to-day -day life and just, <sighs> just please go get help and that's all I'm saying. Um, so basically my depression has started from the minute that I, from five years old on till now. Um, it wasn't really predominant when I was a kid, but as I grew older it started showing up more and more and more. Um, and and it pains me to say that I am a known bottler. My family is, my mom and I are known bottlers and we don't handle our thoughts very well. I mean, we if something bothers us, we tend to bo let it bother us and, but that's, and then it escalates and so yeah <laughs> all I can say is guys is that I am taking the proper steps to getting better and I hope that you guys are willing to stay with me and take and 
join me on this on this journey that I'm going to be taking to get myself better and I promise that you guys will see a gradual change in my mood um, as you can tell right now I'm still feeling kind of blah um, I haven't done anything yet so I'm trying to get myself into better spirits and it's just going to take me some time and I want to thank you all for being so patient and loving and yeah. <laughs> Until next time, my name is Brandon Maxwell and I will see you all tomorrow. Okay guys, I love you.